Hi, I'm Dan with Family White TV, and this is the $69 projector that I reviewed. And since I kept it a little bit longer than the Walmart return policy, well, I'm stuck with it. So let's take it apart. And in fact, let's go ahead and take it apart while it's powered on. Now, I will say don't try this at home. I am a professional now. No. <laughs> This projector is powered by a 12 volt power supply going into it. It's not powered by line voltage, so there shouldn't be anything too ridiculous in here. But even so, I also can recognize the difference between a capacitor and a transistor. So if you don't know your electronic pieces parts, well, don't attempt to do something like this. But I know what uh, I should stay away from. And also, I know I should take my ring off before I attempt this since it's powered on. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so let's see what we got. Now this projector is on the loud side, as I did note in my review, so I apologize for the noise you may be hearing. I'm going to try and filter it out, but who knows whether or not that'll work. Alright, so opening up the case, we'll see if we can crack this. Yep, it is coming apart here. Here's the inside, there's all the screws falling all over the place. So we got this little connector here for the control board. And uh, just a bunch of plastic bits there. Let's just go ahead and unplug this straight away there. Continues to operate. So this is the, the brains of it here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too much to this. So this actually come out, looks like there's a screw here and there's a screw here. Let's go ahead and take these out without any arcing and sparking. I am curious where the LEDs are on this thing. I think I see it right under there, so let's go ahead and uh, pull this out. Well, I guess I will have to turn it off here. You know what, since we're taking it apart, I'll just go ahead and take this board off too. Alright, so there's the control board with all the little push buttons on there and all that. Now I can get this thing out of the way. And we have the rest of this. Is there anything high voltage on here? Doesn't look like it. There's not much to this here. So we got, it looks like a, some sort of logic controller there. It's a little bit warm. Yeah, it's a bit toasty. Not too bad. And there's uh, some memory or something there. Yeah, we got our IR sensor here and here for the front and back IR and then our various inputs and there's really not much to the actual electronics of this thing. Now, let's see here. I do see that there is a choke over here so it looks like this is going over to a bit more of a higher voltage section possibly. Alright, but we do have these, these thicker cables here, and this is, <laughs> it's interesting, these cables look like a lot heavier gauge than this cable. I don't see anything that looks like it's uh, stepping up any voltages here. Well, this goes down here, and there is this uh, coil here, and a couple capacitors, and this goes over to this section right here, so it looks like this is what's actually powering the LEDs in there. This strip here is probably what's actually going to the uh, the panel in there, whatever kind of panel, I assume maybe LCD type panel, but uh, I guess let's go ahead and take it apart and see what it is. Also, it looks like there is a two-way mirror on this side here. You can kind of see the wires reflecting off there. All right, so I see a few more screws in here that we can take apart. All right, here's something a little bit more appropriately sized to get in there. Filter media. So underneath, I see a bright light. There we go. So there's the insides of it. So we see we have our very bright <laughs> uh, LED back there going through. Okay, so here's the actual business end of this. This is actually kind of neat. This is the LCD panel, and I can just take that out right there. 
so. It's hard to see. I have the uh, desktop of my laptop on here. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but I can kind of see it through here a little bit. But this is the LCD panel that is the brains behind this. Now, normally for a higher end uh, LCD projector, there will actually be three panels. There will be a red, one for red, one for green, one for blue. And it will separate the light into red, green, and blue channels. And the red light will go through one LCD panel, the green will go through another, and the blue will go through a third. And that ha that's the way that you get much richer colors. But since this projector has just one panel in it, you're not going to get as good colors as you would with a higher end projector that actually has three discrete panels for each color. Now I do hope to get this back together. <laughs> Because I'll probably just go ahead and let my kids use it, perhaps. But, you know, all right, we'll just set that aside. So what we have here is just a mirror to bounce the light out towards the lens. And I know that there's a hair in here. Let's see if we can perhaps find that. I don't see it on here. And, you know, perhaps I should go ahead and uh, turn this off because it's probably kind of hard to see things. But, well, let's just go a little bit further here. So we have this mirror here. Aha. This is our keystone adjustment right here. So tilting it back and forth is what causes the uh, keystone to adjust. This is wire is going to the fan up there. Here's another wonderful piece of glass. It looks like this is a, actually a polarizing lens possibly. So maybe if I put that in front of here, it might be a little easier to see what's going on, perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see here, does this come out? Well, obviously it will. It looks like to get that out, how hot is this? Doesn't feel too bad appears to be somehow screwed in there. Here, let's just go ahead and take off the other panel. Oh, I see this is actually glued onto the back there. Or maybe not. But I do see a screw in there, so... Woo! That's really right. <laughs> Alright. For my sake, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off here. So there we go. Find out to the point where it turned off. Let the camera adjust there. But, whew. So this is the... Well, first here's the, the lens. It kind of scoots that light out. What's that look like through there? That yeah, doesn't look like much of anything. And here's the... like if I go ahead and just ease that out. There we go. There goes that. There's our keystone adjuster. Nice big smudge on it up here from something. Uh, that might have been me. I see what's holding that in now. So there's actually fins on this thing that goes out underneath this fan assembly. Makes sense because that is a heat sink. Right there. So now perhaps this will come out. Maybe. There it is. Sneaky little screw underneath the sticker. The old screw under the sticker trick. And there it is. It fell right. So I'm not sure what this is, Maybe, and I'm thinking it's probably some sort of a temperature sensor so that if it overheats, it turns the light off. But right there is the light, or actually it's an array of lights. Now the part number LYD3134C6S5P, so whatever that is, I'll look it up and I'll Throw it up on the screen here. 
But there's the array there. I'll set this aside. Wonderful thermal paste. Uh, what else can we get out of here? Here's the here's the fan, that ultra loud fan that's in there. Not quite at all. And then the last bit we have here. Well, let's see. We have this. I'm not sure if this is a flyback transformer. Oh no, it's not a flyback transformer. It's a TV thing. This probably somehow filters the uh, power going to the actual LEDs. For itself says KJM power 12 volt 1.0. I don't know if it's one amp. 2018 Let's see, here's the speakers. Those are glued in there so they're not going anywhere. But our hi-fi sound system, high super high fidelity right there. And I guess the last thing we can take out is the lens, so let's go ahead and just do that. And so there's our lens assembly. Zoom slash focus. Yay. So I'm curious where that hair was. I just got one of our dog hairs on it. I know in the review there was a hair up in one of the corners of the screen. Oh. Well, another thing I will mention here is that, I mean, being a cheap projector, this is not a sealed light engine. That's another thing that uh, the nicer or higher end and uh, that's another thing that the nicer higher end projectors will get you is they will do what's called a sealed light engine and what a sealed light engine is is it's a light engine where it's pretty much sealed off from the outside atmosphere so that the entire light path there's no air going in or out of there and what that does for you is it prevents dust from getting on things like uh, already right here uh, we got a hair from our dog on this uh, on this mirror already. So I'll have to try to get this cleaned up as good as, as well as possible when I put it back together. Speaking of putting it back together, so what do you think? Can I get it back together and uh, working properly? Well, let's find out. All right, so I got myself some paper towels and glass cleaner. Let's see if I can uh, get this back together again. Well, there it is. It's uh, not working correctly. I'm guessing I probably put the polarizer in backwards, so I'll go ahead and uh, take it apart again, maybe get some pictures, and see if I can uh, get it right. 
kind of do that back apart. Let's see, I can kind of see uh, it's not quite right there. All right, so there it is up on the screen there. But if I were to take this and reverse, so there it is without the polarizer. Right now you see nothing. Polarizer back in backwards, and you have this yellowish tint. So flip it over, and it looks the way it should, except there's this black spot in the middle for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. Probably just because it's not all lined in there because I'm just kind of holding it. <laughs> Looks like the uh, LCD actually did not like Maybe something's focused there. Alright, so let's get this back together and see how it works once it's all back together correctly. Alright, there it is. So there you have the successful, this is really loud, the successful disassembly and reassembly of this cheap $69 RCA home theater, in quotation fingers, projector. So hopefully you learned a little bit about the insides of, well, at least what a cheap projector looks like, and uh, I didn't really go over in detail the differences between this and a more high-end projector, because... I haven't taken a part of high-end projector. But hey, if this video gets 100 million views and YouTube doesn't demonetize it, then I will take apart a JVC RS4500 laser projector. Yep, 100 million views. And I will I'll do that. I mean, provided the monetization comes through and I make more than enough to uh, pay for that very, very expensive projector. But uh, hey, who am I kidding? This video is probably not even gonna bring 100,000, but anyhow. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't clicked off yet, here's some other videos from my channel that you might enjoy. Other home theater stuff, geeky stuff, electronics type stuff, and some random stuff that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. So, uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and put a like on it. If you really liked it, then please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. 100 million views, and I'll take apart a much more expensive projector.